Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Cool Auto Fix, and today, let me begin with a simple question. What if I told you the technology for self-charging electric vehicles already exists? Not some pie-in-the-sky concept, but real working tech right now in 2025? You'd probably think I'm watching too many sci-fi movies, but I'm dead serious. We're talking about breakthroughs that make Tesla's superchargers look like toys. Forget BYD, forget Tesla, forget battery swapping. This is about breaking free from the grid entirely. And it's all thanks to an African inventor named Maxwell Chikumbuzo. I'm just curious, with all your clients locked up, what's gonna happen with all that money? Like I said, I'm good with calculation. You can't go to county. This guy, a high school dropout, has developed something so revolutionary, so disruptive, that it's sending shockwaves through the entire automotive and energy industries. I'm not talking about some small-scale experiment either. We're talking about a mid-sized SUV, a superbike, even whispers of a self-powered airplane, all running on Chikumbuzo's technology. Buckle up, folks, because today we're diving deep into the world of Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a world where energy is free, abundant, and controlled by the people, not the corporations, keeping us running rat race, playing carrot donkey trick. Let's kick things off with something close to my heart, motorcycles. Now, bikes have always been symbols of freedom, right? But they come with a catch fuel costs, oil changes, the never-ending drain on your wallet, don't get me started with price of charging EV that is more expensive than both car and parts combined. Electric bikes were supposed to be the answer, but range anxiety and charging times, not exactly liberating. Now, imagine a world where you hop on your superbike, feel the wind in your hair, and never even have to think about gas stations or plugging in. That's not just a promise of Chikumbuzo's self-charging technology, but a reality in 2025 which will be unveiling shortly. No more stopping for gas, no more range anxiety, just pure, uninterrupted riding pleasure. Think about what this means, especially in parts of the world like Africa and Asia, where motorcycles are more than just hobbies. They're lifelines. Farmers could transport goods to market without fuel costs eating into their profits. Delivery services could operate around the clock, boosting efficiency and slashing expenses. Entire economies could be revolutionized. But here's the thing, this technology doesn't just liberate individuals, it disrupts entire industries. Think about the gas stations, the oil companies, the battery manufacturers, all those giants built on our dependence on fossil fuels and limited energy sources. They have a vested interest in keeping us hooked on their products, and that's where things get interesting. Because when you have a technology that can potentially dismantle these multi-billion dollar industries, you can bet there will be pushback. Powerful forces will do everything they can to discredit it, suppress it, maybe even make it disappear entirely, but we're not going to let them, are we? We're going to shine a light on this technology, share it with the world, and empower individuals to break free from the chains of energy dependence. My name is Maxwell Sangulan Shkumbuzo. God has given me something that is going to change the world. The world told him it was impossible. Scientists scoffed, corporations dismissed him, and even his own life was threatened. But Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a high school dropout from Zimbabwe, refused to be silenced. He dared to dream of a future powered by clean energy, a future where Africa leads the way in technological innovation. And now, he has unleashed inventions that could disrupt entire industries. This is the Kai Scythe, an electric car that never needs charging, has unlimited range, zero emissions, and the ability to power your entire home. And that's not all. He's also built a racing motorbike that leaves gasoline in the dust, television sets that need no batteries or external power supply, and a green power-off grid machine that produces clean, continuous energy without a single drop of fuel. All powered by his revolutionary microsonic energy technology. But what is this mysterious energy source? And how did a self-taught inventor from Africa achieve what established scientists deemed impossible? Today's video will answer all these questions and also look at why he has been facing patent challenges for his inventions. Alright folks, buckle up because we're about to take this to a whole new level. Forget self-driving cars, we're talking about self-charging airplanes. Imagine a world where those massive metal birds soaring through the sky aren't guzzling down thousands of gallons of jet fuel, spewing pollution into our atmosphere. Imagine airlines freed from the crippling costs of fuel, able to offer drastically cheaper flights, making air travel accessible to everyone, not just the privileged few. Imagine the environmental impact, cleaner air, reduced carbon emissions, a healthier planet. It sounds like a utopian dream, right? But here's the thing, it's not a dream. Maxwell Chikumbuzo claims to have developed the technology to make this a reality. And if it's true, it's not just the aviation industry that needs to watch out. 
It's the entire energy sector. Think about the oil tycoons, the energy moguls, the politicians with deep pockets lined by the fossil fuel industry. They've built empires on our dependence on oil. Do you really think they're going to sit back and watch their fortunes evaporate as airplanes start running on free limitless energy? Of course not, they'll fight tooth and nail to discredit this technology, to bury it under a mountain of bureaucracy, to make sure it never sees the light of day. They'll use their money, their influence, their control over the media to paint Chikumbutso as a fraud, a charlatan, anything to protect their interests. We are also going to unveil the cost price of these revolutionary cars and a whole lot more. Maxwell Chikumbutso was born in Zimbabwe in 1980 and grew up in the high-density suburb of Budiriro, Harare. His early life was marked by financial hardships, forcing him to drop out of school at just 14 years old. However, what he lacked in formal education, he more than made up for with his innate brilliance and curiosity for engineering. From a young age, Chikumbutso displayed an extraordinary ability to invent and build complex devices using scrap materials. In the late 1990s, he began working on innovative projects, crafting gadgets such as a radio transmitter, digital navigator, and turbine engine. His love for technology was purely self-taught, driven by an unshakable belief in his God-given abilities. According to Chikumbutso, his inventions are divinely inspired, ideas that he receives in visions during the night. Chikumbutso's inventive spark ignited further in 2009 when he shifted his focus to green energy. He envisioned a world where power could be harnessed from the very air around us, leading him to develop his revolutionary microsonic energy technology. This technology, according to Maxwell, functions by means of capturing and converting radio waves into usable energy, a concept that has both intrigued and baffled the scientific community. Before we dive into how his latest advancements in the automotive industry could disrupt the Tesla market, Let's take a closer look at some of his most remarkable inventions and how they can positively impact the entire continent and the world at large. The Wireless Self-Powered Television Chikumbutso once showcased a television set that does not require external power. At the heart of this technology is the same microsonic energy system that converts radio frequencies into usable electricity. This means the TV can run indefinitely without relying on cords, cables, or batteries. The benefits of this self-powered TVs, if they get produced in a large scale, are truly transformative. Millions of people living in remote areas without access to electricity can be able to enjoy entertainment and educational content. Moreover, households in urban centers too can save significantly on electricity bills, as traditional TVs are notorious energy guzzlers. So this is the first television in the world that uses self-power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here on all traditional televisions. Power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is, it is working as it is. So in Lyman, I think this television is a, we can call it a, a self-powered television. Next, we have the green power off-grid machine. This is another groundbreaking invention by Maxwell that generates electricity using the same microsonic principle. What we're looking at is called the green power off-grid machine. It is half a megawatt and we are relying with the radio frequency. Behind this radio frequency converted into pure energy that is useful. This device can generate electricity without solar panels or traditional energy grids and can supply hundreds of households. If fully developed, this can be a solution for Africa's energy crisis. It could provide cheap and clean energy to rural areas with limited or no access to electricity. Before we continue, Please support our effort to keep bringing these videos by donating a super thanks of any amount to the channel. Thank you. Now let's talk about the self-sustaining racing motorbike. Alongside the Kaiyi Scythe, Chikumbutso introduced a high-performance racing motorbike that also runs on microsonic energy. This motorbike does not need fuel or recharging and has been designed for both racing and commercial use. Currently, 
there is no official price released for the racing bike, but its affordable production cost means it could become widely accessible in Africa and beyond. Now, let's look at the elephant in the room, the self-powered electric car, the Kai Scythe. The Kai Scythe, developed in partnership with Chinese automaker Kai, is a testament to Maxwell's ingenuity. While the specifics of his microsonic energy technology remain undisclosed, due to some concerns, the car's potential is undeniable. These cars boasts several remarkable features that set them apart from conventional electric vehicles. Perhaps the most revolutionary is its unlimited driving range. Unlike traditional electric cars that rely on charging stations and have limited mileage before needing a recharge, the Kai Scythe continuously powers itself using Chikumbutso's proprietary microsonic energy technology. This eliminates the range anxiety that plagues many electric vehicle owners and makes long-distance travel a seamless possibility. Beyond its self-sustaining power system, the Kai Scythe is also built for performance. It can reach a top speed of 220 km per hour, approximately 137 miles per hour, putting it in direct competition with high-performance electric vehicles currently on the market. This impressive speed, combined with its unlimited range, makes the Kai Scythe a compelling option for drivers who desire both sustainability and exhilarating performance. It's not just about saving the planet. It's about enjoying the thrill of the drive. Adding another layer of practicality, the Kai Scythe features a home power supply capability. Similar to Tesla's Powerwall technology, the car can act as a backup power source for a household. In the event of a power outage, or even as a regular supplement to a home's energy needs, the Kai Scythe can seamlessly switch to powering lights, appliances, and other essential devices. This feature transforms the car from a mode of transportation into a valuable asset for energy independence and resilience. Of course, the Kai Scythe's most significant advantage is its environmental friendliness. Because it doesn't require fuel or traditional charging, the car produces zero tailpipe emissions. This contributes to cleaner air, reduces reliance on fossil fuels, and helps mitigate the effects of climate change. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the Kai Scythe is designed with affordability in mind. Chikumbutso estimates the manufacturing cost to be around $14,000 per unit. This price point is significantly lower than most electric vehicles currently available globally, making the Kai Scythe potentially accessible to a much wider market. If mass-produced, this affordability could democratize access to electric transportation, particularly in developing nations where cost is a major barrier. But we're not going to let them win. We're going to keep asking questions, keep digging for the truth, and keep sharing information, no matter how much they try to silence us. The future of energy is at stake, and we can't afford to let greed and corruption stand in the way of progress. Let's talk about the dirty little secret of the electric vehicle revolution batteries. We're told EVs are the green solution, the answer to our pollution woes. But what about the environmental impact of mining those rare earth minerals? The toxic waste created when those batteries reach the end of their life. We're replacing one form of pollution with another, all while lining the pockets of mining corporations and battery manufacturers. It's a vicious cycle and it's not sustainable. But what if there was a way to power our vehicles without relying on these toxic finite resources? That's the promise of Chikumbutso's technology. No more lithium-ion batteries, no more mining operations destroying ecosystems, no more mountains of electronic waste piling up in landfills. Just clean, sustainable, infinite energy. Imagine a world where we're not constantly scrambling for the next energy source, where we're not poisoning our planet in the name of progress. Imagine a world where energy is abundant and accessible to all, not just a select few. But that's a terrifying thought for the corporations that control our current energy systems. They thrive on scarcity, on dependence, on keeping us hooked on their products. A world where energy is free and plentiful is a world where they lose their grip on power, and they're not going to give up without a fight. They'll use their vast resources to discredit Chikumbutso's work, to spread misinformation, to sow doubt in the minds of the public. They'll do everything they can to maintain their stranglehold on the energy sector. But we're not going to let them win. We're going to keep asking questions, keep demanding transparency, and keep pushing for a future where energy is a right, not a privilege. The health of our planet depends on it. For decades we've been told that we need the energy giants, that we're dependent on their oil, their gas, their electricity grids. They've carefully constructed a system where we're at their mercy, where they control the flow of energy and by extension our lives. 
But what if we could break free from that system? What if we could generate our own power, power our homes, our cars, our lives without relying on these corporate gatekeepers? That's the true potential of Chikumbuzo's technology. It's not just about cars or airplanes, it's about energy independence on a global scale. Imagine a world where developing nations are no longer beholden to foreign energy companies, where communities can power themselves with clean, sustainable energy. Imagine a world where the power literally shifts from the hands of a few corporations to the hands of the people. It's a powerful vision, one that terrifies those who benefit from the status quo. The energy cartel, with their vast wealth and influence, will stop at nothing to maintain their grip on power. They'll use their political connections to stifle innovation, their media control to shape the narrative, their financial might to crush any competition. They'll paint Chikumbuzo as a threat, a radical, a danger to the very fabric of society. They'll use fear and uncertainty to keep us trapped in their system, but we can't let them win. We need to see through their propaganda, to recognize that their interests are not our interests. We need to support innovators like Chikumbuzo to demand a future where energy is a force for good, not a tool for control. Let's be honest folks, if this self-charging technology came from a Silicon Valley startup or a multinational corporation, it would be plastered all over the news, we'd be bombarded with ads, governments would be throwing money at it and everyone would be talking about it. But when an inventor from Africa, a high school dropout no less, develops something this groundbreaking, something that could change the world. Crickets. Why the silence? Why the skepticism? It's a pattern we've seen time and time again throughout history. Brilliant minds, often from outside the established power structures, make incredible breakthroughs that threaten the status quo. And what happens? They're ridiculed, discredited, silenced. Remember John Kanzias and his radio wave cancer treatment? Or Stanley Meyer and his water-powered car? These inventors and countless others were on the verge of something extraordinary, something that could have benefited humanity in profound ways. But their work was met with resistance, with doubt, with outright hostility. Why? Because their inventions threatened powerful interests. They challenged the established order, disrupted industries, and promised a future where the old rules no longer applied. And those in power, those who benefit from the way things are, will do whatever it takes to maintain their control. So what can we do? We can't let them win. We need to be vigilant, to question everything, to think critically about the information we're being fed. We need to support independent inventors, to share their stories, to amplify their voices. Because the truth is out there, folks. The technology for a better future exists, but it's up to us to fight for it, to demand it, to make sure it doesn't get buried under a mountain of greed and corruption. Look, I'm not saying we should all become off-grid hermits living in a tech-free utopia. But we need to wake up and realize that the current system, a system built on dependence, scarcity and control, is not serving us. It's time to demand better. The technology for a cleaner, more sustainable, more equitable future is within our grasp. But it's up to us to fight for it. We need to support the innovators, the dreamers, the ones who dare to challenge the status quo. We need to be skeptical of those who benefit from the current system, those who tell us that change is impossible. The revolution won't be televised, folks, it'll be live-streamed, shared on social media, whispered in hushed tones between those who dare to dream of a better world. Are you ready to join the moving train of the future or self-charging EV as the future? Let me know in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs if you find this interesting enough and relieving, share and leave a comment below this video description. As always, I am Dr. Cool Auto Fix. See you soon in my next video.